This is tutorial number nine, and it covers how to make holes with an Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard, click OK. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to create a rectangle that we're going to make our holes into. So let's click two-point rectangle, and let's draw a rectangle out. And let's make this rectangle with the general dimensions. Let's make it 40, and let's make it by 100. Now let's click return, click extrude, and let's extrude this out. We'll just do it 10 millimeters. Click OK. So now we have our rectangle that we're going to make our holes into. So here, let's put this on a little bit of an angle so we can see what we're doing. Now let's click hole. And through here, we're able to make different kinds of holes. And you can see the preview. We can make a drilled one, we can make a counter bore, or we can make a countersink. So we're going to go through each of these three and we're going to make the holes. So for the first one, we're just going to make a drilled hole. So to start off, what you have to do first is click the face that you want. So let's click this face, the front face that we've already got. And you're going to notice that once you click that face, that you can see a preview of the hole that we're going to do. Now the second thing you have to do is make a reference point. So we have reference one and reference two. So what we're going to do on the rectangle is we're going to make a reference point to that side and a reference point to that side. In doing that, then we can dimension how far away from each side. So the first one's going to be here, and the second reference is going to be here. Now let's say we want this to be 15 by 15, so all we have to do is double click that, put in 15, click OK, and we'll do 15 to that too. Click OK, and now our hole is going to be dimensioned 15 by 15 away. Now if we look to the side here, we're also able to measure out different depths and stuff. So right now our hole depth is 8 millimeters plus 3 millimeters in width. So if we click OK, we're going to have our hole. And if we rotate it around, you can see in that it went down. It's gone down the 8 centimeters and that the width of it or the diameter is 3 millimeters. Now we can also change this if we right click on it, click Edit Feature. We can change the depth that it goes down to. Let's make it 2 millimeters. Click OK. And now when we zoom in, it's only gone down 2 millimeters. And if we right click it again, click Edit Feature, we're also able to change the point at the bottom. We can either make it flat or we can make it with an angle. Right now it's at 118 degrees. So you're able to adjust various dimensions and you can make the hole exactly how you want it. So for now, let's put it back to 8. Click 8 click OK, and that's our first hole. Now let's make our second hole. Let's click Hole. Let's click on the counter bore. And again, we're going to have to click the face. We're going to have to click one side. We're going to have to click the other side. And now we have our dimension. So for this one, let's make it 50 by 25. And again, as you can see, like the other one, we're able to adjust various dimensions and diameters, and we can make it a flat bottom. We can have it an angle bottom. So it's, it's all up to you how you want to dimension it. So for this one, let's just click OK. And now if we zoom in, we can see that we have the counter bore at the top and the hole drilled in. Now let's right click on hole 2, click Edit Feature, and let's make the diameter of the top larger. Let's make it 10 millimeters. Click OK. And now you can see that we've dimensioned that and we've made the counter bore much larger. Now let's make our third hole. Let's click hole. Click countersink. Click there. And now we have to click one side and then we'll click the other side. And let's dimension this 20 by 20. And again, we can adjust all the different parameters on the side here, flat bottom, angle bottom. We'll just leave it how it is right now, click OK. And if we zoom in, we can see how we made it. And that concludes our tutorial on how to create holes within Autodesk Inventor.